Good morning. Unfortunately, Todd woke up with a really, really bad neck. He tried to get a massage yesterday, but it just didn't do anything. So he's currently at the chiropractor right now, really hoping that that solves the problem. I think like lifting in all of these boxes and organizing stuff on top of that, Charlie, <laughs> we've been lifting him around everywhere and he's almost 90 pounds. So I think it was only a matter of time until one of us did something, but there is good news. While he's away, I am gonna start putting together some furniture that just got delivered. So we have been really trying to figure out how we want to lay out this living room space. And the thing that we're sort of struggling with is this wall back here, we can't get it out of our head that we wanna put a wood stove of some sort in. We're imagining a sectional of some sort around here so when you're like cozied in by the fire, you also have a view of the lake. It has been just breathtaking. We normally sit out and have our morning coffee on those Adirondack chairs and just take in the sunrise. It has been, oh, I just, I wanna be able to do it inside in the winter. So long story short, I ordered this furniture. There was a really big sale on Wayfair the other day. This is not sponsored in any way. I've always like been scared to order from them because I think it's really cheap or that's my impression of them. I don't know for sure, but all of this furniture was $700, which is 700 Canadian dollars. So like probably 450 American. Anyway, it, I'm hopeful that it's gonna be nice and what we're gonna do is have it set up in this living room for now and then eventually when we go down and finish the basement, we'll move it and it'll be the rec room furniture. So long story short is we don't have to decide today how the living room is gonna be set up because we'll be able to repurpose it. So I'm gonna put this together and hopefully have it done by the time he gets back so he has a nice cozy spot to lay out on the couch and take in the lake. Also, I should mention, Todd is normally the one who does these types of things, so hopefully I put it together properly. So, I'm going to be smart put this on the deck because it's going to fill up in here quick. Suddenly, a $300 couch makes sense when you got to have an engineering degree to build it. I thought they didn't have the arms in it, but it was hidden inside the couch. That's a relief. Oh, squirrel. We're gonna have all the snuggles here, aren't we? This is gonna be our nap couch. Okay, so update. Totally understand why this is a $300 couch. I've been putting it together for like two hours probably. None of the instructions <laughs> make sense at all. Some of them are wrong. Some of the holes are drilled incorrectly for the pieces to actually sit, like this piece here. But I'm hoping that when it's put together, it's gonna be nice. Hey, hey. Couches together? No, not together, but I'm making progress. It's the worst piece of furniture I've ever put together. Really? Yeah, the holes don't line up. So like the cost definitely makes sense. But I'm getting there. What's her? Did it hurt when they did it? Like, he said it's going to for a bit. Because they did Cairo, a spinal alignment and acupuncture, so it's like a lot of trauma, but it's just so sore. Like these, it is so tight. Like, Oh, jeez. <laughs> like, the holes aren't lined up. <laughs> so, uh, I tried to fit it in the hole, and it just won't fit. <laughs> Sounds like our first date. <laughs> I was telling them that we want to put a fireplace there. Yeah, did, I, did you tell them my new idea? What idea? I think because there's a deck on the other side, we should cut a hole in the wall and put a see-through fireplace. What? When did you tell me that? Mm. I don't know. Maybe I didn't, but I was going to slip it in. 
Hold on. That wasn't a fart. That was my shoe. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. Graham's here, boys. Facials! How the f do these go on? Okay, what's next? Step 12. I want to see something cool about this. So the legs pop out like that, so we can have them hidden. It's a, a it's a futon. Futon. You the one I'm fighting for. Now that we have a bit of furniture set up, my parents asked if they could spend the night. So while my mom went and picked up my dad and Nan, we got to work on setting up the upstairs bedroom. For this room, we went with a bed in a box style so that we could easily fit it up the stairwell, which will make a great addition to the space. It's actually quite amazing how much these beds reinflate themselves and just how comfortable they really are. A queen would have been really small in this room. Yeah. So we'll just let that inflate. inflate. So magical. Cool thing is, this can be our room on the nights we want it too. Yeah, like we can come up here. We can sleep wherever we want. It's our house. Our house. Our rules. Our, yeah. All right, we'll let that inflate for a bit. And then we'll break her in. I walked in here the first day. It was just like, my God, I could live here. I could get up everything we have in the to. Eddie, you going to bed? <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> Granddad and I are retiring for the night. <laughs> go that way, honey. That way. I was, no, ser I was serious, Eddie. Eddie. It's Grand. Good night, Eddie. Go with Granddad. So, guess who stayed up way too late last night? Definitely was not Dad. And no. Eddie, they went to bed at like 8 30, 9 o'clock. Yeah, we ended up putting the projector up and had a movie night with Todd's grandmother and his mom. It was so much fun. It was a lot of fun, but we did decide that we're not going to put a TV in the living room because we've been kind of debating on it. Yeah. But that's not the vibe of that space. Yeah, it all. just, it would be weird to have a TV like this. This is the view. This is the TV, exactly. <laughs> it almost looks like an ocean today. The water is just like really moody and it's foggy. Yeah, oh. I love it. Yeah. I feel moody today. <laughs> Actually, yeah. it's just because I haven't had coffee. Yeah, we're kind of easing into the morning. Everyone just left and... Not them, they didn't ease in. They were up at like five and, you know, ready to hit the ground running. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you stop making noise, please? <laughs> but yeah, I think we're just gonna probably tackle some work with the flood that happened last week. Yeah. We got it all dried up and stuff, but there's just, there's so much more that we still have to do down there. Yeah, it'd be good to get the floor out so that we yeah. can like dry underneath of it and stuff. So I think that's what we're gonna do. But first I'm gonna finish this coffee. I've got a little bit left and then maybe make another one, sit for a little bit more and then get to work. You can relax here for a bit. I'm gonna get to editing, I think. All right. Yeah, I've been filming a lot of stuff and I feel really far behind, so it's my plan. You can. I come out here by myself all the time. If you're not ready to go in, it's okay. okay. Right, I'll see you after. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is take up the little bit of floor that's over here. Out on our own with our hope in the cloud. Weird. What's that? I think it's a floor drain. I think that this basement probably has some flooding issues. If I'm gonna be a gambling man, guess we're doing tile. I think realistically, it will be years before we have a finished floor down here. So this floor, we may as well take this out and then we can have a little, a little setups, you know? The extra couch from the RV, the, all the extra mix, mix match furniture. I don't care how it looks down here. Yeah. Do you? No. Well, we will eventually, but. Yeah, I don't think that you said years. You you're, lost you're, me there. You're hung up on them. Yeah, I stopped listening. <laughs> hey, we're matching today. We're wearing the exact same shirt. They were on sale, so I bought four because they're comfortable. Oh, we're sitting. We're supposed to be working. And we got no reason away. Let the journey take you where it There's um, a gallon and a half of cement paint up there. We're not painting the cement. Okay. Todd. Tile. I think we build a bar back here for back row seating if we're having a movie night. 
Like you could have like a breakfast bar with stools here and still watch TV. A little, breakfast bar with stools. Yeah, little Angelica could be just having, doing, you know, munching on some Cheerios, doing her homework, clearing her ABCs, one, two, threes. Over there is gonna be a bar. Because we're boozers. Sounds like I better get back to editing. And sh you sure, because I gotta keep thinking. <laughs> I gotta keep making money. Subscribe. <laughs> it stinks of malt down here. It really does. Probably should have a mask on. Do we have masks? No. You're the only mask thing here. Like that's all mold there. Wow, this piece is really moldy. Look at all of that mold. The white and the black there on the corner. Gross. Here we go with the sunlight on our skin. It's a brand new day. It's ours to take and we will let it in. This is where the adventure begins. Now that that's out of the way, Todd is just brewing us up a coffee and I'm heading down to the lake for a few minutes to kind of recenter, catch my breath set my intentions for the day. And that's thanks to the sponsor of this week's video, Headspace, who by the way, is giving you a 60 day free trial when you click the link in the description box down below. If you aren't familiar with Headspace, it's an amazing app that helps its users build lasting healthy habits with solutions for reducing stress, finding more focus, getting a better night's sleep, and so much more. A few months ago, I started doing breathing exercises every day and I've noticed such a difference in my daily mood. When I have moments where all the stresses of daily life feel overwhelming, I'm able to recenter my breath and focus on the bigger picture, which has been such a transformative experience for me. Todd has really taken to the guided meditations and it's given him such a fresh perspective that sometimes life is chaotic and it can feel out of control, but in the grand scheme of things, nothing really matters except this present moment that we're all in. Headspace has truly helped us in so many different ways, but I think the thing I like the most about it is how I feel after closing the app. There are so few apps on our phones nowadays that you actually feel better after using and Headspace totally does that for me. I know it will do it for you too and you get two months free, completely risk-free. Make sure you click the link in the description box down below. I'm gonna have my breathing exercise and we're gonna get back to work. Give this a vacuum though, a one-two scally move. I've got that, so I'm gonna put that with hot water and actually mop the floor and put the dehumidifier in here to dry. After you sweep. That is squirrel, are you lonely? Am I not giving you enough attention? Oh my goodness. Oh, look, squirrel. I need a flathead screwdriver, a crusty crossy screwdriver, and a hammer. Sounds pretty dangerous. Writing stories that seek to be read. Taking hold of the moments we discover. You are ridiculous. You're so needy. So do you use this as a TV stand? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so, um, we gotta buy a TV. <sighs> Maybe if um, Naughty Santa will bring me a TV. Ready for the reveal? Yeah. Wow. Pretty. Pretty. It is pretty. Yeah, so I'm gonna test the light. Wow. That's nice. Like if we had a movie going, yeah. and then my Lego sets that have lights in them, I'm gonna put in the cubbies. Oh, that'll be cool. Like I have the bus, got a big old red bus. That won't be too high for a TV, I think, when you're on a couch. No. It's a little high, but that's okay. We'll just get higher. Why don't we take like everything from the RV? Because she's going for repairs all winter. Yeah, because we could furnish this whole thing with stuff that we already own. Yeah. Way cheaper. Way cheaper. But anyway, fake Christmas tree right here. Why don't I need a Christmas tree down here? Because if we're watching Christmas movies while I build my Lego, I need a Christmas tree. True. This is where the adventure begins. 
Okay, so the camera battery died. I'm not sure where we left off, but I have a feeling things have changed quite a bit because it spiraled out of control pretty quick. Christmas trees are going. Arthur Gar Christmas is on. Arthur Christmas is my absolute favorite Christmas movie. We've got garlands set up. It's looking yeah. really festive. Well, I figured, you know what? We don't have a couch, we might as well put up a tree. So, that's have, what we do have a plan for the couch though. We do, so, okay, we're gonna get a little tour of the area, I guess. That probably would put it yeah. all into perspective. So, we're gonna take the couch from the RV and put it here. And then we've got the TV from the dome here. We've got garland. This is a ladder that I found. It's an old one, but we're using it for our blankets, which I think is really cute. And then over here, we've got Squirrel's Corner, which is her poop box. We've got her condo, and then we're gonna bring the trees from the dome to make it more foresty for her, cause she oh, has that's a- Oh, a good idea, actually. Yeah, I think, like, she told me she wanted it, so I'm just, <laughs> I promised. <laughs> Who are you to deprive her? Yeah, exactly. And then this is the other area that we're probably the most excited yeah. about. We're calling it the wine bar because when we want to go on a date night for wine night, we have a wine fridge there in two chairs and we can just watch TV. But also how cute are these chairs with They're this little table? So cute. And I came together it. pretty cool, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, for what it was earlier today. Oh, she's at the tree already. Yeah, well. It is the Christmas season. It's indoor tree season, as she calls it. Hey, squirrel, what are you thinking? Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> Charlie, got any of that trazodome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Spare me a bump. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to um, just start decorating this tree. Yeah. I think we're going to put on the movie though, which is copywritten, so we can't have audio on right now. Because we don't own the rights and we could be sued by a big company, so we're just going to put on a song that we can afford <laughs> on a time lapse. Squirrel! Squirrel! Are you excited? Are you excited? You love Christmas. You love Christmas. I don't think I've ever explained that, that her original name was Texas. Yeah. So the, birth name. <laughs> the adoption shelter <laughs> always does, whenever they get a litter of puppies or kittens, they do a theme to the naming of the litter. So this one was Southern States, oddly. Um, Which is maybe why her name, like her voice is such a Southern belle. I think it all ties together. Cause she's our little Texas. She's our little Texas. Now present Miss Texas. <laughs> Miss Texas. Okay, I got a really fun task for you. Oh. You're on a hook duty. You're my hooker. Slay, big slay. Wow, that one looks horny. <laughs> okay, something didn't feel right and we realized that the boys were missing. Hey, come here, sweetie. I don't think Charlie's ever been in the basement. No, he's not. Hey, buddy. Hey. Easy, buddy. Easy. Easy. Calm down. Calm down, buddy. Let's close that door so he's not... Look, he's getting too excited. Come on, over on your bed, buddy. Hey, yeah, you're doing all your sniffs. Calm down. Calm. Easy, Charlie. Easy, Charlie. <laughs> See, like, he's just... Too he's much. So much energy. Hey, bud. What is that? Oh. Charlie, well, what did you find? That's my little Christmas gnome, but I guess it's Charlie's now. Is that your Christmas gnome? That is so sweet. Can you can have, have it, it if you if he lays on the bed. He can have it. You can have the Christmas gnome if you're on the bed. You heard that? Hey, lay down, lay down. Oh boy, lay down. Oh, bear, buddy. You're gonna be disappointed when there's no squeaker. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Right, let's do this. I've learned it's better if I sit out of some jobs. He's pretty particular about his Christmas decorations. Obviously, we could not wait to get the couch. We just need to have the basement set up. 
Couldn't wait to get the couch? Couldn't wait. Because <laughs> you're giving me life, baby. It's all right. What have you got to do? This is three houses ago now. Yeah. Anyone want to buy an RV? It's all right. It's all on the way. You okay? Yeah. Can you hold it there? I got to go pee. Oh yeah, we're gonna be able to fit the patio furniture from the gazebo on. Maybe we'll even throw the freezer on, out of the shitter. Our shitter freezer? Oh, mama can't wait for the shitter freezer, babes. Jammer in. So I think we go with this one first. Yeah. Yeah. We finally have the rec room all set up and it looks so good in here. I'm loving the way it came together. It's really cool after yeah. so many years, like having a space that we can just escape to and just hang out, you know? Yeah, this probably doesn't feel like a big deal to many of you who live in a house and, <laughs> you know, have the modern amenities, but yeah, it just feels, um, it feels really good. Yeah, and I've already started to turn it into my Lego room. I've yeah. been working on this. I've got a whole box of sets that broke in the move, but. He's been building the Home Alone house, which is actually really cool. It's taken you a long time to get here. I haven't been contributing anything, by the way. Yes, I've just. You have. You've what, been more keeping you more supportive. Every time I'm like, look at this, you're like, wow. Wow. <laughs> and then I just continue watching TV, but it is nice to have a space to kick back and relax, but. We have very special guests coming to stay with us next week. So we're gonna try and maybe get that bed up off the floor, have like a proper guest room set up. Yeah, you know, try and squeeze a little project in before they get here. Yeah, <laughs> what else is new though? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, for tonight, we're just gonna relax and enjoy this new space. Yeah. And then we'll see you next Sunday. See you Sunday, have a great week. Bye.